They said in the original video, arguably it doesn't say anything about homosexuality, and here's why. Because there are only a couple mentions of homosexuality in the Bible, only in certain translations. This is BibleGateway.com. It keeps track of all the translations of the Bible. Here we have the King James Version, which is the one that people usually use. And in this passage you cited from the Corinthians, it says nothing about homosexuality. It mentions adulterers, the effeminate, and abusers of themselves with mankind. If you choose to read effeminate as homosexual, that's your interpretation. This one here is from the Worldwide English Translation. It doesn't mention sexual behavior at all. It mentions stealing and drinking and cursing. And you're not going on a crusade against people who are stealing and drinking and cursing. Maybe stealing. This one's from the Living Bible. This mentions specifically drunkards and slanderers and robbers and greedy people. Like I said in the last video, Jesus had a hate boner for rich people. Here we have one that does mention homosexuality, but here just says anyone who abuses mankind. There are 65 translations of the Bible tracked by that site, and you have to pick and choose one that condemns homosexuality. And even then, it puts it on the same level as, like, drinking too much. And even then, that's about it. That and Leviticus are the things that are mentioned. And again, there's like paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs about how bad rich people are. So it just seems really weird that people zero in on this like it's the worst thing ever when the Bible really doesn't say that. And not every version of the Bible even mentions it. When every version of the Bible mentions that hoarding money is bad and that the wealthy are inherently bad and that the meek and the poor will inherit the earth, it just seems like priorities are mixed up. And it seems like, again, you have to read in your interpretation to believe that the Bible is condemning homosexuality, or at least choose a very specific version that does. And it's not the King James, which is the most widely accepted version.